Hi, this is Dan with DEC Software. We're going to do a quick video. It's not going to be very refined. We just want to demonstrate how you can use a smartphone to buzz into the software that we're working on. We're at our home page here, DEC Software. You're going to need two items. You're going to need software to put on your Windows XP or later machine. And then you're going to use the applications or the apps on your smartphones. Let's go to the download page. About two-thirds of the way down, you'll see the program, the smartphone test program. You're going to want to download this and install this on a Windows-based machine, Windows XP or newer. Now, I've already got that program installed on this computer, so let me get it running. So there it is running. You can see we have uh, several pages here. And you'll notice that we're supporting Classroom Feud, The Ultimate Quiz Show, and Classroom Millionaire at this time. It's a brief introduction to what the program does, the required hardware and software. Let's go to the setup page. This is the page we're going to need to connect to our smartphones. Now the other thing that you'll need will be the application. On the Android, our applications are already on the Google Play Store. And here's an Android device which has the DEC software buzzer installed on it. Let's go ahead and start that buzzer app. You can see it comes up and shows again the three basic programs. And now it's demonstrating that we need to take the IP address off of what's generated on the Windows based machine. Let me go ahead and type in that IP address and connect. And you can see the application on the computer shows that something is connected. Now what I'm going to do with the Android is we're going to go to the ultimate quiz show. And we're going to make this team one. We'll show you that program in just a minute here. Now, the same thing is true of the iPhone. Here I have an iPhone with a DEC software buzzer already installed. Part of the purpose of this um, video is to convince the people at uh, Apple, the iPhone gurus, that this buzzer program is uh, very handy, can be used, and useful. So I've got this application installed. Let me hit the buzzer. I'm going to pick the ultimate quiz show. This too will need to type in the application uh, or the IP address and connect. And we're going to pick team two here. Now both buzzers are ready to go, the iPhone and the Android. Let's go to the test part of this program. And you'll see that if we're in the middle of a game and we're using the Android device, this being Team 1, the application shows up as Team 1. And same thing is true of the iPhone. Now, of course, the test program will just show you that the program does work. Let me start the uh, demonstration version of the Ultimate Quiz Show. If we go to the game setup here, uh, it's several different ways that you can ring in, but the one we're working on right now is a smartphone, and it gives a bunch of information here. You can see at this time we were only available to get the, the application on the Play Store. We want to get it on that app store for the Apple, the iPhone. Let's go ahead and start the game and see how this might work. So this game plays like a Jeopardy style game.
six categories, five questions each. And before we get going here, we're going to go to the smartphone setup. And, and you can see that uh, we're going to have to connect. So, I had connected to the test program, so let's get out of this. And restart the buzzer program. And we're going to have to connect to this IP address. And we are connected to the program. We're going to get a message because we stopped that demonstration program. Let's go back. I'm going to pick the ultimate quiz show. We're going to connect once again. And we should be ready to play. So let's pick a category and amount. I want science for 100. Let's say that uh, I think we need to continue on here. This is going to be team one. So our Android player is ready to go, or the team is ready to go. Team one. Uh, let's say they give, they call it the Congress. Okay, that's incorrect. Oh, I'm very sorry. And let's go ahead with the iPhone, see this person. Team 2. Of course, people that own iPhones are a lot smarter than people that own Androids, right? So they're going to say, uh, what is the nucleus? Yes! And the game continues. Currently, we support up to four different uh, iPhone or Android devices in our games. And we have some ideas for software down the line where a teacher um, might use uh, handheld smartphones to buzz in, to take tests, to take quizzes, to interact with the instructor, and so on. So that's about it. Thanks for watching.